Isabella has also sent us over a question in regards to how she should tailor her CV for the European market, um, which is something we can help with. We've got a Canva template, which you guys can use. Um, we'll pop a link to that in the chat as well. Um, but Jan or Alexandra, have you got any thoughts on how somebody could tailor their CV to make sure it's appropriate in the uh, European market? Yeah, yeah. Make make sure, um, yeah, as always, to make it look professional. So uh, not too much much colors uh, as well in the CV, and keep everything uh, as short and effective as possible. So if you have a long CV, try to keep it in two pages and uh, use a lot of bullet points, of course, to summarize uh, your experience. Uh, feel free also to add some general information, of course, uh, the country where you're from, uh, your visa status, uh, your passport, and also helps uh, moving to Switzerland. Uh, because, because as Jan has explained, you need also to have your most of the time, most of the time EU passport. So uh, yeah, moving to Switzerland and applying makes it a bit easier uh, that way. Definitely, definitely. I, I, I'm, my, my main advice in that regard in Switzerland is try not to waste the employer's time got to imagine in your head that they're going through hundreds and in large companies, thousands of applications for these, for these jobs. And if you, uh, you need to make sure that they're hooked from the first line. So you need to make sure that it's, as Alexander said, it was streamlined uh, and uh, things like that. And if, in Switzerland, as you say, residence is such an important factor. Uh, it should always be listed there uh, when you're applying when you're applying for it because as as they say uh, if you already have a permit to live in Switzerland that's one less bureaucratic hurdle they have to overcome overcome I think as well to add to that Jan is um, having your education on your CV is something that I've come across quite a lot with clients that I work with. Um, because for some people they need, um, say for example, a bachelor's degree in order for them to, to go forward in that process. So if you've got that already on your CV, um, it just makes things that little bit easier and, and kind of get over a, another hurdle, so to speak. 